Okay. I guess level one turrets ain't gonna really do much anyways. Alright. Modify or repair. So we're going to nope. scrap that level ten. I can make a level forty one now, so how much is the uh the craft? Hunting rifle, level 40. Okay, so it's just five more days. A lot more conditioning. Whatever. Cancel. Modify. Stabilize. Stabilize. Standard magazine. Do. Perforating superior armor penetration. Okay, perforating. Yes. Shooting people in the head. Good short scope. Able to recoil reduce range. We'll use a compensator. So I think that's it. Yep. Cool. Got that all fixed up. Craft some more. Shotgun shells. Oh, that's right, we leveled up too. Alrighty, time to max out the strength. What we got for perks we want to go with. We dug it. Oh. Okay, so we wanted to do the heavy guns. Since I'm going heavy guns for game. Alrighty, here we go. Non-explosive heavy guns. Nothing, nothing new. What's this? Escape artist. Okay. Not seeing anything. Bullet shield. Gain 20 damage resistance while firing a heavy gun. That's cool. Ooh, bloody mess. 5% bonus damage. Means these might explode into a bloody mess. Uh, what's that? 10 15% bonus damage. Okay. So I guess I know what's going to be paired really well with Ammo Smith. I already have this one. Hmm. 80% more ammo. I don't think I have enough agility. Oh, I do have enough agility. Go over here. Born survivor. Got it. Home defense. So. Ammo Smith. Rank up. That would have been a good idea right before I uh, crafted all them shotgun shells. How many can I make now? This uh, ammo smith's going to work really well for uh, heavy weapon ammo. Oh my god. Let's see. Okay, I can make 21 shotgun shells. I can make 180 50 cal rounds a pop now. So, next will be damage for the 50 cal. Alrighty. Cool, too. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Let's see where we, uh, she's gonna have a truck over here. Oh, let's see. What do we got going on? Where do we want to start from? I really want to get the Mistress of Mysteries done. So I'm going to pop over here to National Radio. No, I'm not. Right at the moment. I'm going to put on 
freaking better armor. Even if it is just my uh, Mistress of Mysteries garb. And bam! Almost forgot to drop off scrap. Ah, three ninety-seven. Damn. Okay. We can deal with that. As soon as I can wear my full set of T sixty armor, I will definitely be switching over to that full time. That takes off my uh it sure does dang you gotta have all that on oh okay cool and just gonna truck on over there how many shotgun rounds i got 151 i'm good All right, better. What's the contour of the land? Okay, cool. I have not found a T60 helmet. Unfortunately, I thought my entire T60 armor was level 40, but half of it's uh, the uh, seven pieces I have right now. No, the five pieces I have now, uh, three, two of it's level 40 and three of it's level 60, so I can't even, level 50, I can't even use it until I get level 50, the whole set that I have. I mean, I, I could spend a hour or two just farming armor and jumping, but I'm not going to do, if I was going to do that, I'm not going to do it on stream, you know. That's just a little too much. I'll probably just keep on playing. I mean, as I keep on coming across areas with power armor all the time, and the farther you get in the story, the more dangerous the areas are, the more likely you'll find power armor more suited to your level. And, you know, the higher level stuff. I don't want to wear Enclave armor, though, if I don't have to. But, I mean, I have a choice in that. Oh going this way. Cool. Yeah. I mean, you come across so many places and I get distracted so easily. So. You're like, power armor, yay! Trying to decide which game I want to play next though because I figure I got about three or four more days probably with this then I'll have completed the storyline and at that point it's just uh, you know running around and questing whatnot so gotta figure out got a couple on mine though uh, I think maybe revisiting Destiny 2 and just uh, creating a character and start from scratch since they've changed the weapon system and everything like that so I could just uh, delete one of my uh, Max characters and just start from the ground up and see how the game is. Experience that for a, a week or two. Or uh, there's a couple other things on the horizon, like uh, X2 coming out. I gotta take a look again to see if there's some stuff I would like.
It's alright, buddy. I love the wolfies, trust me. I grew up with one. But I know how vicious she can be. Okay, so... First, Nuka Cola. Anything I can drink? Nope. Alright. So... Mr. Some Mysteries, let's get out of this. Make sure I got all the gear equipped, so... In case it's required. Feel the secrets on, yeah. It's got a quest marker on it, most likely. My ranger hat. talking about so sure wait nothing left after it okay so yeah didn't have much of a choice <laughs> Unlocked! Alrighty. I was thinking about trying out a game called X4 2. Quest led me to that door. Or a key on the ground or something? I guess I came in the back door. Now I have to. Only black side guard key can unlock. Okay. Black side, eh? Hey, fall down, go boom. Thanks for coming by and stopping by and saying uh, hello and everything. You go get some sleep, man. I'll see you tomorrow, I think, is when you'll be on. Yeah, it's really nice to watch your stream while I'm editing and listen to your commentary. Pick up a lot of, lot of useful tips. Plus, I want to play uh, some State of Decay 2 now. Especially after the next patch that you had spoken about when they were going to up the difficulty. And I think I might like that. Hey, thanks for the follow, Fall Down. Really appreciate it. What do we got? Alright. Get that raw wolf meat. Mm hmm. Fusion core. Things are like candy and all over the place. What else we got? Okay. Gutsy, you're so funny.
wait till I can just start carrying around a big heavy. What I need to probably get is a Gatling laser. To be honest. Because then I can just power on. Power, of course. Reception test and see if oh, story here. Keep some still cool. Keep hard or something. Oh. Detective case file. That. Miscellaneous? No. Notes? Junk? Oh, like it. It's cloth. Okay. Got excited for a little bit. Said if it just gives me another door. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see what we've got. Nothing special. my quest say go not that way alarm law and order will be restored shortly straight ahead lock no. automatic assault rifle sure oh <laughs> I'm not escaping, trust me. <laughs> oh my god. Are you in the toilet? You're in the toilet. Colonel does. smart TV show. I'm not sure about that. Power grid. Okay. 
several monitors, signet system. Ooh, a whole bunch of hollow tape. And what do we got here? Cryptid sighting, Grafton Monster 927. Cryptid sighting, Snail. Nally Gaster 1014. Sighting, Windigo 1025. Start here. Beverly Solomon, cryptid analyst, 92777. Grafton Monster Witness Report. Well, this is from one of those spelunkers that roam the hills looking for abandoned mining claims. Can you imagine? Well, the classic four foot wide shoulders, headless profile, deep sonorous cry. They got a good glance at it. The witness didn't know what it was, but the description is very clear. It came out when she started playing mouth harp, apparently. I'm gonna go out to look. Maybe that sound is. Beverly Solomon, cryptid analyst, 10477. Snallygaster witness report. Another interesting tidbit from the locals, this time about the Snallygaster. This one's for you, Teddy. All right, so the witness overheard a loud, shrieking sound and was rushed by a dark shape in the woods. It was uh, leaping at them, or flying. They took shelter in an old German settler's barn and it couldn't get at them, which is what really interested me. It screamed and hollered outside all night until dawn, but they knew the seven-pointed star on the wall outside would keep them safe. Yikes. Guess I know what my next tattoo is gonna be. Next tattoo. Beverly Solomon, cryptid analyst, 102577. Wendigo witness report. Ooh, this is a spooky tale. Okay, so this is my own personal sighting. I was up at the ski lodge this past week, enjoying some well-deserved R&R. I guess I can never really be off the clock, though, because I happened to see something hunched on the slopes ahead of me. I thought it was some old coat, you know? I was moving pretty fast, so I was just trying to avoid it. Anyhow, it just unfurled as I get close. Must have been ten feet tall, but just all skin and bones dead dog. It had a deer's skull cracked open in its hands from the fresh kill it was eating. And as I go by, I get this powerful cold feeling through my bones. I thought to myself, you know, Bev, you really lucked out getting that tattoo before coming out here on this trip. I can't imagine what kind of things I'm going to see next. Oh. The end of the world, probably. I'm William Breyer. Investigative report. Charleston Herald. I'm currently standing just outside the security fencing of one of several horn ride industrial sites that have cropped up around the area in recent months. I'm here tonight to try and get some answers about what has become known in certain circles as the Motherload Project. Could this be the answer local mining families have been looking for? A series of new mining projects that could reinvigorate the local economy. Or as the environmental groups have suggested, could these be a fresh set of toxic sites poisoning the ground beneath our feet? At the very least, according to local experts, the area's recent increase in seismic events can almost certainly be tied to these sites. And now I'm here to see for myself what's really going on. I've just made my way up to a small gap in the first line of fencing. The security here is intense. Barbed wire, armed guards, feels like a war zone. I'm making my way over a small ridge and I... Mother of God! Ground shaking and it's 